I've just finished up with the uh, do-it-yourself easy cloner. I purchased this 20-gallon uh, Sterilite tote at Family Dollar for about 10 bucks. Uh, I spent another $10 on net cups. I'm actually short about three right now. I've got them marked off, but I'll have to order some more. Uh, these also came with some uh, neoprene inserts and those fit down in the cups see this it has a you know split in it for the stem um, net cups just a standard net cup open bottom which will work fine I'm not going to put any media in it for the, the roots uh, probably work a little bit better without so uh, drilled uh, some two inch holes in the top like I said, I've still got three to do once I get the other net cups. That'll give me 13 plants that I can do it at a time. Um, also, cut an access hole for the power cord on the pump. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a um, air pump line into this to aerate the water. Um, and also an aquarium heater to keep the water warm enough you know, for the the roots to uh, sprout so uh, I still have to buy those items not a big big concern though uh, top snaps shut I still have to put um, some weather stripping around the top so it doesn't leak water I hate for it to drip down the sides so what we have here when we open it up Take this and just uh, run it off to the side. And there's the spray bar that I've created out of half inch PVC. Because of the offset on the pump, I had to put a um, stand on it using a piece of PVC. Uh, this is a low pressure system. Uh, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, 360 degree. Uh, full spray heads and two, four, six that are um, 360 degree downspouts that I put on the bottom to spray up so those actually sp spray a stream. I don't know if you can uh, see those or not. Okay, I'm currently using a 600 gallon per hour pump. Uh, I think I'm going to cut that down to a 320 because it's kind of overkill. Uh, Pressure is the same no matter what, as long as it's over a 300 gallon. So I'm going to use this. The one I'm using now, I'm gonna, it's actually my backup pump for the fish tank. So I'm going to purchase another one uh, for this use. So let's uh, let's crank this puppy up and see what it'll do. As you can see, after plugging it in, it has pretty good coverage. Um, it's actually spraying out on the ground right now, so uh, shouldn't have any issues with uh, wetting the stems on any plants I try to clone. And I'm going to put this on a timer and it'll probably run uh, for 15 minutes and then cut off for 45 minutes. Plenty of oxygen to the roots or you know, for the formation of roots. So let's put the top on this and see how it does. Okay, we have the top on it with it running, and as you can see, hopefully that'll show up in the video. It's um, got pretty good coverage on all the cups. Quite a bit of water out. I think we'll be good to go. And that's it on the Easy Cloner. This thing cost me less than um, twenty dollars to build. Um, I'm gonna pick another pump up at probably Harbor Freight. Uh, they have a 300 gallon per hour aquarium pump for about sixteen dollars. So all total. 
less than 40 bucks in this. Should work pretty good. That's it for now. Thank you.